Hello and welcome back to the Batty Corvette Repair Channel. My name is Brian Thompson and today we're taking you along with us while we're troubleshooting actual customer jobs. This is from Jorge G in Winter Haven, Florida. Jorge's problem is the dash lights up but you cannot read the numbers. The odometer is working fine. Now I see that he's taken my free sample and he has stuck it to the front of his instrument panel which would have been a great solution except when you do that um, you don't see a factory image again. What you see is kind of the factory image plus the results of the faded polarizing film. So it's still really hard to see the information on the panel while we're, uh, while we're testing with the polarizing film. It's probably should have been applied in this direction. We can see when we look at this from an extreme angle that it uh, reads 36. If it were in this orientation, it would have looked a little bit more factory, but we still don't see a great solid factory image. So just ordering a free sample and sticking it onto the appropriate areas of the instrument panel isn't a good idea. It really doesn't solve the problem. One of the things that we see is that uh, when we do view this panel through a new piece of polarizing film, the segments are working like they should. They come on during the first two seconds of the lamp test. And they go back off when they should. Okay. What we see when we have the power off is that we can clearly see the colors of the color filter through the LCD panels. That tells us that this is faded. Now what we see from this panel is that it's partially faded. Uh, sunlight fell on this area, but not so much on this area. So this is what it should look like. This is what it uh, does look like when it's faded. And again, when we power that up, what we see is that nothing's readable. While we've got our speed signal applied, it's a great time to test the odometer motor. It is indeed turning at a, the rate of about one half RPM, which is correct for that speed. Let's go ahead and pull the back off and see what's inside. <clears throat> As a test, I'm going to push on the 12-pin connector just to make sure that that doesn't cause intermittent operation. I'm going to do the same thing by pressing on each of the four corners of the power supply. I don't see any intermittent operation, so that's good news. Let's go ahead and remove the circuit boards and take a look at the back side. As always, when we're working with the bottom circuit board, we have our anti-static wrist strap on. If you don't have one of these, you can go to the you can go to batty.com and pick one up for less than $5. It's, it's great insurance. We definitely see some cold solder joints forming around the um, the 12 pin connector set and we see some miscolored and corrosion starting on those pins, so we're going to we're going to recommend that that connector be replaced. Whenever we replace that part, we also replace the photo cell and all of the factory illumination bulbs. Let's take a look at the LCDs. And indeed, what we see when we look at the LCD panel is that it has been faded. I'm also seeing a ring of Armorall. I get it, Armorall's magic stuff, and it makes your car look good, but it also contaminates the electrical surfaces, which are right there. And when it does that, those, um, those segments of the LCD stop working. So your choice. The back film is not peeling in any way, and I see no cracks around the electrical connectors, so this is definitely a restorable panel. Color filter looks good. I see no fading. I see no black paint transferred from the back side of the LCDs to the surface of this uh, color filter, so it is perfectly usable again. Again, a uh, serious amount of armor all. I would not apply armor all to the surface of the LCDs. Um, it contaminates the electrical surfaces. I strongly suspect that it's the reason that the polarizing film on some cars fades much quicker than it does on other cars. Again, no peeling of the back film, no cracks. This is a restorable panel. People ask me how I, uh, how I remove the elastomeric connectors. Um, these are not glued in any way, shape, or form. The, the adhesion is caused purely by uh, time to remove them. I just slowly peel them away from the glass. Uh, again, no peeling of the back film. We do see some paint wear that will need to be retouched. No cracks. 
and just a huge amount of armor all. Anyway, this is a restorable panel. All right, thank you so much for watching the Batty Corvette Repair Channel. My name is Brian Thompson. For more how-to videos like this one, as well as parts to fix your Corvette, you can go to batty.com. That's B-A-T-E-E dot -E -E com. Thank you.